welcome to the Chatelaine edition of City Line. This is the December issue, so we are getting all glitzy and glammy and having some fun in a holiday way. Let's start with a little bit of fashion and makeup, shall we? Please welcome Carrie Marsh. Come on in here. And Tracy Peer. Carrie, you'll be doing fashion because you are a contributing editor to Chatelaine magazine. Tracy is, of course, a makeup artist extraordinaire. So, there are a lot of different kinds of parties that are going to be happening this season, which true. I love about it. It's true. You might be hosting at home. You might be going to a work party. That's or right. you might be going to a glammed up affair, That's like a charity right. party. So you want to be appropriately dressed and comfortable in each of these scenarios. So we'll go through the fashion and the makeup for each. Yes? Yes. We wanted to give you lots of options yes. to stretch your holiday fashion budget as far as we could. So we started with the tuxedo, but yeah. then we pulled it apart. So we found this really cute tuxedo at H&M. And I'm going to show you a couple different ways to pull it apart to really get a lot of looks. Yeah, that's a smart idea because the suit also is very big right now. So why exactly. not buy a complete suit and then you can do all these different things with it. Look at these super cute crop trousers. So this is when you're hostessing, you're entertaining at home. You want to be comfortable because if you're comfortable, your guests are comfortable. Right. You're on the move, you're taking people's coats, you're serving drinks. We love this kind of Audrey Hepburn sparkly sweater, nice. flat, which I love. <laughs> and it's just a really pull together, sweet holiday look. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit of the makeup. You're at home, you're comfy, people are coming over, but you still want to look good. Right, like you guys were saying, when you're hosting a party, you are tending to everybody else's needs. You're running around. So the last thing you want is a high maintenance makeup that you have to tend to as well. Yeah. So you don't want something that has, requires a lot of touch-ups. Mm -hmm. So the best way to like upgrade your makeup and glam it up in a pinch is to go with a bold lip. So today we went with a bold red lip. It doesn't have to be red. You can go with pinks, fuchsias, purples, but traditionally through the holidays, people go with red. So we went yeah. with red. And remember, it is a house party, so you don't have to be uber glam, uber fancy. Yeah. This is all the glam that you need, you know, but the key to this lip is to do work with a lip liner. You want to line your lips on the outside and then fill it in as well. That mm -hmm. way, the lipstick that you put on top, it won't bleed out, number one, and number two, it's gonna stay on the entire night, and that way you don't have to babysit your lips, and you can babysit that person drinking too much eggnog. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what? I love the ponytail too, even though we're not talking about hair. But Keeps there's nothing simple. worse than having that hair all right. in your face, yeah. and you're trying to get the stuff together yeah. and get drinks poured. Thank you so much, Allie. You were a big round of applause. Thanks. All right, now we're going to the office party. So That's you've right. gone to work. There might be something directly after work. Exactly. And the you want to look dressed up. Yeah, but the thing to remember about a work event is it still work. It still works. So we're not going sexy. We're no. not transforming ourselves into something unrecognizable. Yeah. So we're taking this gorgeous tuxedo blouse, which is part of our suit. Yeah. We are maybe changing from Love the boot we wore in the day to a, a super hot statement lacy detailed pump. And then adding a necklace. And you're done. It takes it to a great nice. sort of festive level, but it's still appropriate. Yes. You remember where the skirt's from? Because I learned, really like that. H&M. It's all H&M. H &M. Oh, gorgeous. Okay, let's talk about her makeup. She's got a little glitter going on. Yeah. So the easiest way to take you from the office into the party is to go with a little glitter. We didn't want to go with something too overwhelming. I wanted to make sure I kept it as simple to do and as easy to do as possible without compromising razzle dazzle. Yeah. Okay. So I wanted razzle to give you a little dazzle. razzle dazzle with a little uh, a liquid eyeliner sparkle, okay? We talked about this before, what you got going to the office party, you don't want to look unrecognizable, right? You don't want people exactly. to have to look at your employee pass <laughs> to recognize who it is, right? Yes. We've talked about this, right? Yeah. You can't be like, you know, Sally, you know, Sally who's all, you know, she's, you know, you just understated at work, understated yeah. at work and, and then like you walk in eyelashes. looking like Marilyn Monroe right. to the party. Yeah. You know, you can't be that. Although I'd so, like to see that. Right. Yeah. You want to be unrecognizable yes. is what I'm trying to say. So we went with a liquid liner. Um, the great thing about the sparkle liquid liner is you can make a thin line. We yeah. can make it as thin as you want or you can make it as big as you want. So you control how, how much you sparkle. Yeah. Okay. And as well as it's easier to work with a liquid liner as opposed to working with loose sparkles. Mm -hmm. So that way when you walk in, everybody's going to say, oh my God, Tracy, you look great, Tracy, as opposed to, is that Tracy? <laughs> you know what I mean? Really you clean. do look great. Thank you so much. All right. The Glam Affair. This is the season where you might get that invite That's to a party right. where you can, you know, you can go all out. That's you can have right. a lot of fun and really get dressed up in a way that you wouldn't necessarily do. So this is gorgeous. You're using the jacket That's from right. the top. Here's the jacket from our suit. I like separates because, you know, 
a big evening out doesn't need to be a full on gown. Right. With, you know, so she's yeah. still in great pieces that she can pull apart. This is the most expensive item that we chose today, $69. That is Everything so cute. Everything was less than 70. It's a great sparkle skirt. Um, this would be cute without the jacket if it gets a little warm. Sometimes busy parties can get a bit hot. She can take that off and she's still got this jeweled little shell underneath. Yeah. It's just a really simple monochromatic look. We love the little sparkle with the earrings. It's just easy. She's comfortable, but it looks really sleek. And any of those pieces can go together. And I did the fashion math. Yeah. <laughs> There's nine outfits possible from all of these combinations. Mm, that's very which is good. great for your investment. More than not these days as well, people are not doing full gowns at these events. No. It's, it's not happening right across the country. Nope. So do a look like this and you will absolutely not feel out of place. Let's talk about her makeup. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, you get to step it up. This is a smoky eye, but step it up. I don't want everybody to think step it up means that you have to put on 52 pounds of makeup <laughs> or get a professional like myself to do it. Even if you're not that skilled, there are ways to cheat the process for the smoky eye. You can get a coal pencil. Coal pencils are a lot softer and texture, mm -hmm. so when you apply them onto the eye, you can move the product mm -hmm. around. So I went with a coal pencil here. I drew a nice line. If you can close your eyes, and then I just took an eyeshadow brush and smoked it in an upward position like that. So you don't have to do the whole eye with black. It's not too much, and it's worthy of her nice, you know, beautiful uh, evening out. And oh, well, you're not going to look like a raccoon in a dress. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's not the look you that's want. That's not the look we're going no. for, right? No. It's not, it's not too season. much.